Animated Horror Flicks is by far one of my favorite animation channels for horror stories. He always does some really, really good stuff, and he recently put out a trailer for the video that we're going to react to today, which is a dark web horror story animation. Fairly generic title. It's not like we've not investigated or reacted to dark web horror stories before, but he is an extremely talented very very cool animator and storyteller and i'm thinking that this is gonna be extra interesting i'm ready for it i hope you guys are too make sure to subscribe to his channel guys subscribe to my channel as well if you like reaction videos and let's get into this dark web animation very cool art style as always Dark way. So there I was, back at the very same motel, still trying to come to terms with what I'd done. What did you do? Here's my story. It had already been a week since me and my girlfriend Courtney broke up after a three year relationship. Okay. October was always my favorite so time good. of the year because of Halloween, mm -hmm. but this year things were different. Halloween's not my favorite time of year. I was a mess. It's all right, but... I picked up the rest of my things the day before. She already changed the locks, so I guess there was no going back. It's always hard breaking up, though, it wasn't long before though, I began man. to feel the need for always some hard. sweet revenge. Oh. My <laughs> mind was in a dark place, uh -huh. which eventually lured me to the dark web. And after exploring a number of forums, I was uh... referred to a link that led me to a curious web page. Okay. Make your wish. The aesthetic reminded me of those old 90s web pages. Just an image, a text box, and a Bitcoin address. Uh. I was told that the site was used exclusively for hardcore pranks that were completely anonymous and as simple as filling out detailed instructions oh, wow. and sending some Bitcoins to the address below. Some Bitcoins? There weren't any prices <laughs> displayed on the page. But the four members told me that I should just pay whatever I thought the prank was worth. It's a lot of money. I'm Although into crypto, man. It's a lot. Go figure. So, I never had the courage to worth? use the dark web before, to be perfectly honest. But I was driven by a strong desire for revenge. A Halloween prank that she will never forget. Okay. My plan was to have someone enter her apartment wearing some kind of Halloween costume. And I would take some photos from the motel across the street where I was staying. Okay. I provided detailed instructions, including the time and address. I knew she wouldn't be home because she would always get invited to Halloween parties by her colleagues from work. Right. And wouldn't usually get back until around midnight. So I scheduled the prank to take place on Halloween night at around 9pm. Right. It's a lot easier to pull off a prank on someone whose routine you already know very well. And I knew she would totally <laughs> freak out after seeing the pictures. Yeah, something's going to go wrong. I sent around $150 worth of Bitcoin to the address. $250. Bucks a little worth. expensive for just a prank, I know, but it did involve breaking and entering. I mean, yeah, that's extreme. So if you get linked to this, though, this, is that, this animation style, by the way, is extremely cool. It's like a pixel art type. I played some games that had this type of aesthetic. It's almost like cyberpunk, futuristic, you know? So what exactly is going to happen here is my question. How is it going to all go wrong, guys? So Halloween night had arrived and everything was in place. Yeah. Courtney had already left for work and, as usual, would head directly to the party afterwards. Right. And I was anxiously waiting with my camera and a clear mm -hmm. view of her apartment. Okay. As the hour approached 10 p.m., I began to suspect that the whole site was just a scam. Okay. But at that moment, I noticed something moving in her apartment. Aha! Uh -huh. I stared in absolute silence as a hooded figure wearing a skeleton mask emerged from the door. Yeah. I remember thinking how perfect it was, but as I began taking pictures, I noticed something strange. 
The prankster appeared to be having trouble breathing and was stumbling around the apartment. Okay. Now, this was a nightmare. I sent a complete stranger to my ex-girlfriend's apartment and things could get very complicated. Right. He was still there when she got back. Yeah. I know the prank was supposed to be hardcore, but things had already gone too far. So I headed okay. over to the apartment to see if I could help. However, by the time I got there, the prankster had already passed out on the floor. What the heck, man? I checked for a pulse, but it was very weak. So I removed the mask, which is when my heart sank. As I realized, it was Courtney. Huh! My initial response was that heck? she came home early after getting drunk at the party, but then I noticed something in her hand. Uh -oh. Something terrifyingly familiar. A card from the website. After getting her to the hospital, the doctors discovered a cocktail of drugs in her system. Okay. And she never made it to the party. Wow. She has no recollection of what happened that night after work. She didn't die. She even thanked me and remarked on how lucky she was that I just happened to stop by. <laughs> I can't take this guilt anymore. Or right. pretend that I had nothing to do with it. I know I'm a coward for not having the courage to tell you this to your face, but Courtney... If you're watching, I want you to know that it was my fault. And I'm sorry. Wow. What a crazy story, man. I gotta say, this aesthetic, with the storytelling and stuff, like, I have, I have some big old goosebumps right now. <laughs> It's just, it's a, it was a really, really good tale. Uh, you know, every, every dark web horror story that I've ever reacted to is, is always, there are demented people out there. And when you give them the opportunity to act on their outrageous impulses, especially motivating them with a payment like this. You are asking for serious trouble, man. <laughs> Just in general. It doesn't even have to be the dark web. People in general, y'all. Y'all be careful out there playing around on them toy browsers. Other than that, guys, animated horror flicks. Make sure to subscribe to them. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos, too. Thanks for so much for watching. As always, this is Ogden signing off. We'll see you next time.